she said it perfectly. She said, my missus left. Yep. And I, the first thing I did, walked right around, looked at her ball position, and I was like, well, there it is. Ash, I've watched you roll enough putts to know, like, your stroke is good. Thank you. You roll it nice. You have a very good putting stroke and setup. Your ball position was just way too ahead of center. Okay. Set up, set up, set up. Always set up, especially with the short game. Let's look is, at the video. No, this is where I went. I mean, I can go back. It's just natural right here. <laughs> look at where this ball position was. This is what was natural right here. So let's just kind of look at this. And, you know, when she was putting that ball that far forward and she said her miss is left. And here's the reason, guys. The only reason why the ball needs to be even ahead of center is you don't want to hit down on a putt. You want to hit up on it. Ideally, you know, you think about tennis or, you know, something with topspin. You know, you hit up with a de-lofted, you know, racket. Well, it puts, puts topspin on it. So ideally, with putting, if, if this is the dead center of my stance where I just, you know, where I hold the, hold the club. And that's what I want you to do. Go to zipper and just hold the club straight down. The ball should just be just ahead of that. And then here's what's cool. If the ball's just ahead of that, that's just in front of the top of my pendulum. So naturally, the putter's going to start swinging up. Now... If I then take the butt of the club and give it the slight couple degrees of press that move the handle over the top of the ball, well, what does that now do? Ball's just forward, I'm gonna hit up, slight press, I'm gonna hit up with that slightly de-lofted face. And then not only am I gonna have good face control, but I'm gonna hit it right through the equator of the ball and it's gonna put topspin on it. For you, when the ball is that far up, think about it like this, guys. If I had the midpoint right here, and I have it like this. There's a natural arc that's taking place. Look at this. I'm kind of illustrating that arc right now. I'm exaggerating a little bit. But if the ball's back here, I'm going to hit it out right. If it's in the middle, I'm going to hit down on it, and it's probably not going to roll that well. If it's too far forward, look where the putter's going. It's already swinging left. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing about it was, from how far left you had it, Ash, your putter was back here, and the putter was like this. You would have had to have literally pushed that thing like this and held on for dear life just to hit it straight. Mm -hmm. So really, it's all ball position. It's all ball position. This is the place right here where you have the least amount of time to manipulate things in your stroke, right? There's no time. The butter's going back, it's coming through. So with the, such a small motion, if you have something preset out of position, it's going to very easily return back out of position. But look how there's a rolling dead on line now. It's a good roll right there. Yeah. Very important to understand. If our viewer is pulling putts, if you're, if you're pulling it, immediately check ball position. It's always probably too far forward. If you're pushing them, check to make sure it's not too far back. Those are the things that you do that are basic, and, 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 then, and then we start looking at the stroke. Mm -hmm. here's, here's the fix, though, because it's, it's easy just to tell you to move the ball back. Mm -hmm. It is you getting in there. And I used to love starting off with you know my feet together like this and I would have that ball just on the, on the big toe, basically, and that's just ahead of center. And you can see how I do that, and then I just equally distribute. But you can see how my putter, it comes up to my zipper, and the ball is just ahead of that. And then all I'm doing is just bumping the handle just forward a little bit to just get rid of the loft on the club face. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, you start off like that. That's a good Ooh. little pre-shot routine. Probably feels like it's a mile back right now. Yeah. <laughs> Stay right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want you to stay right there. I want the viewer to see this and I want you to see it. If I were to hang this putter literally from your left eye, do you see that? Mm -hmm. Boom, right down there. Knowing that this is an inch ahead of center, my eye over here. So just holding that putter up from my eye and making sure the shaft runs right down into the golf ball. Okay. All, all simple checkpoints. Yeah. Getting that left eye right on top of the golf ball. There you go. Still yeah. went in, wow. Yeah. So the funny thing was, you know, for the viewer, a lot of her putts were missing left. That was as a result of the ball being too far forward. And the pass was already going to be going left by the time the ball was struck. So for the junior golf parent who's, here, you could keep putting there. For the junior golf parent who's watching this or somebody who cares about the other person they're watching and they want to help out their game. I'll go like this actually. And I'll just close one eye and all I'm doing is making sure that her left eye just runs right down in line with the golf ball. So I'll hold this up dead straight to make sure that's the case. So for ball position from this perspective right here. And then I go around oh, here and then I'll hold up from her eyes in general, a dead straight line that then drops right to the inside edge of the golf ball to make sure her eyes are over the golf ball. So you can see Ash has her eyes right over the golf ball. Her left eye is right on top of it. Well, dang. Yeah, and, and there you go, right? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I, and I want you to know, 
just never look at your stroke until you look at your setup. Okay. okay. But you know, it's funny was I, I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be one of two things. Your shoulders are either gonna be wide open or the ball is gonna be too far forward or both. Because when the ball gets too far forward, what happens to the shoulders? It goes with it. The, they yeah. open and this is the train track of your stroke. So, you know, we've seen great putters over the course of time. Nicholas opened up like this, right? Shoulders square though. We've seen a lot of players have feet in different spots. Tiger's slightly open, right? It's kind of like, kind of like, like that right there, like a lot of players are. But the shoulders always will be square. So a way to check the shoulder alignment, and I love this one. My mentor, Todd Soans, taught me this one. Just real simple. You get over the putt, and you just hang your palms down. And if the palms match, you're square. But watch this. If I'm open, oh, if I'm closed, you see how they would, mm -hmm. wouldn't line up? But if I take my grip, and I'm square and I just kind of let these hang, they match up perfectly. So that's a way to check to make sure my shoulders are aligned. And I'm gonna grab one more thing that I wanted to her to putt with and use. And Ash, check this out. You seeing this right here? Our straight putt, no matter what. No. So check us out, we made oh these. Oh my gosh, this is what, so cool. So we, Cam and the guys, Cam loves us and that's he's been so using sick. it. okay. Yeah, so check it out, we just line it up. You know, what's great is, yeah, we're hitting a putt right here. That's just, you know, pretty much just inside left edge. But you come back here, you can line it up and make sure you're spot on. But what's really cool about it is, say this putt was like six inches outside left edge. Mm -hmm. You know, people's stroke change oftentimes, but you know, depending upon a left to right putt or right to left, mm -hmm. this thing keeps you hitting a straight putt no matter what. Okay. So does that line up pretty good? I think it's pretty good, right? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. But there you go. You can kind of, you know, get your ball position settled in. And I'll explain to you why those lines are such. So check this out. Five, okay, inches, that's sick. five inches of your backstroke should be dead straight before the putter naturally starts to arc. Okay. And we have that illustrated. And nine inches, no matter what the break is, if the putt's over three feet, pretty much starts on a dead straight line before it breaks. Okay. We have that illustrated. Wow. So it's pretty cool. It's, 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 really it's the cool. most simple thing I've ever made, but I'm telling you, it's probably one of the best inventions I possibly could have had. So simple. And it's so compact. I like that. So compact. You're taking this one with you, by the way. Aw, thanks. Of course. What I like about that though, you know what's cool about it? It really trains your eye too, to seeing what a straight line is, you know? Mm-hmm. I need help with that. Setup's perfect there, Ash. It's awesome. Thanks. That couldn't go. be any better though with the- uh, Yay! Couldn't I be any better one. with the backstroke too. It's like every time, every time I'm watching it, you're making that line on the training aid disappear. So here's the other part that I like about this aid. We just figured out now, okay, you come back here and you're like, oh my gosh, look where this putt has to start. And you guys come back here and take a look at this. This putt's literally starting out here, which when you look at that without the aid, it's kind of like, how many people are gonna aim right here? And then try, and like their stroke does what? Kind of pushes, pushes it out it. online a little bit. That's exactly what happens. And then on this putt over here, we kind of pull it online a little bit. That's like every good golfer does that. And I and think that's unbelievable to see even great, great players. They, they get on the left to right, right to left and their stroke is altered a little bit. That's the reason we call it the straight putt no matter what. So when you get it lined up, it's gonna help you roll it end over end every time regardless of the break you're playing. But what's cool is this, check us out. So you just hit a putt right here mm -hmm. and it had to have a really specific speed in order to go in with that break. Now you put it on repeat. So you get to work on your feel as well and being able to work on repeating the stroke and having the same feel, mm -hmm. so it's cool. So now it's like in order to make that putt, if you hit it a little hard, it's over the top edge, a little soft, bottom edge. Got to be perfect. I like how simple it is too. Like it's just a really simple visual. Go ahead and set up to this one. Mm -hmm. So you can set this perpendicular like that. Mm -hmm. And there's the oh, back of the Oh, for the ball. Yeah, and now you have line. ball position. Oh, I love that. And, you know, and I'll slide this back just a little bit for you there. This should be literally your new station that you use all the time. I actually you should, really like you that. You should do 25 right to lefts mm -hmm. and then do 25 left to rights okay. and then have a couple straight ones as well. But this is like, to me, your new station right here. That's perfect right there. And what's great is, you know, for a line putter too, you know, just getting this thing like this mm -hmm. and just being able to kind of really see, train your eyes to make sure you're just lining everything up perfectly. Mm, rolling end over end perfectly. Yeah, so just put in a 
you know, put in some reps on this and then, you know, both sides of the hole and you have your little T line there to be able to help you with your ball position as well. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. Such a good stroke. It's almost kind of like a ruler. Like I used to putt on a ruler too yeah. when I was younger. I mean, really, you know what it is? It's, it, it, it's, a, it's a ruler that's made 14 inches and has definitive <laughs> lines that yeah. show you your stroke a little bit. You yeah. know I mean? It's just, it's that's sick. When did you come up with this? I came up with this about two years ago, the idea, and we started, uh, started making them about a year and a half ago. And okay. it's been, it's just been incredible. The, the feedback we get from the public and, you know, they've been purchasing it. At Forzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.